Hi, this is Maria. I'm going to show you how to make this layout, or one very similar, um, using stickers and using the side-by-side -side functions of NoteShelf. And once we're done in NoteShelf, we're going to switch over into GoodNotes and do it there as well. So I'm just going to swipe, so we're on January 7th, and we're going to do very similar. We might just flip the, the stickers just for some variety. So here's an, a page, blank page in NoteShow. I'm going to work from the bottom, grab my photos, and you can work side by side like this. I've shown that before. Or you can grab this little tab and just float over your page. And now you, your stickers are kind of on top, but your planner is full size and they'll, they'll come over on the side. So let's do it this way. And let's do it actually backwards from what we did the day before. So I need a daily spread. Long press, grab it over, drop it into place, and tap off. I'm going to scoot this over here. Grab a notes page. Let's grab a different one. similar, but not the same. I used this one yesterday. Let's use a little bit of blue in this one. Drag it over. Edit. Crop out what I want. And there's my notes for the day. sticker. Edit. And let's click square mode. And I want this one today. Click done. And we'll drop that one. So it's similar. But just a little bit different. I'm just going to pick a blue. Okay. Now let's add in a uh, Something from the eye calendar. I didn't know we could do this, so I'm going to grab my calendar and do the same thing, let it float. And we can see all the calendar functions as usual. You can pick a day, you can scroll. This is January 7th, so I'm going to look at January 7th and I'm going to drag and drop onto my page. Let's close this out. And then from here, I can move this wherever I want it, change the size of my text box, select the whole of the text, click my paintbrush, I can change to a different font. I can change the size of my text. I think I like that size. And then I can, I can change the color of my text as well, and I can save as default, and I will remember that that's the text I like to work in. Okay? So, let's... Actually, that says Dr. B scheduled at... It copied over the date and the time over here, so I can actually remove off of that because I don't need that. I just need the actual appointment. Lunch with Dad at 1. Drag it over. Close that out. I'm going to erase the extra information that I don't need that came over. It's already sized properly. It's already the color that I wanted. And there is Lunch with Dad. Okay, so 
sand. All right, so that's how it works in Nutshell. Let's see if it works in GoodNotes. Now GoodNotes sometimes doesn't work for me, but we're going to try it. Let's go to the 7th of January. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to swipe over and if you a calendar came up, but there's a there's a line at the top that lets you move this little tab. There's a line at the bottom that lets you swipe through your open apps. So I'm going to go to my albums first. Find a sticker. We're going to do the exact same thing. Let's use this one. And this now we're in good notes. So my uh, photos is working the same way as it did in Nutshell. Let's grab this one. Tap and crop. They function very much the same. Different writing apps. Let's grab a bookmark. Tap and crop. Okay, so all of that worked pretty much the same as it did in Note Shelf. Let's grab my iCalendar and let's see if this works. Drag and drop. And there it is, it did work. So there's my text box. Again, it brought over scheduled seven, it, the date and the time. I don't need all of that, so I'm gonna cut that out. Cut. I just need my actual appointment. And let's see if it lets me, we're gonna select all that text. And it looks like it's gonna let me do the same thing. I can change my text from here. I can change my color of my text and I can save as a default as well. Let's pick oh, let's pick pink. Let's save. Alright, so that should be working. So there's one text box. Let's bring the other one and see if it remembered my color scheme. It did not. Hit this one, that one. Make that box smaller. Select the whole thing. It didn't remember my color. So, hmm, interesting. All right, so now we can just tap and move this to where you want it. We can lasso. I'm going to turn off images so that my sticker behind doesn't move. And I can change the color to try to match. Yeah, I'm going to have to change both colors though because it didn't remember from from here it didn't save. So, all right. So that's good notes. Let's go back to note shelf and try that again. It did this one did remember my color scheme when I brought over. Let's go to another day just to grab an appointment. Let's see. Oops. and see if it remembers. It remembered my sizing and my color. Um, let's see. I'm gonna cut that. Yeah. And when I resize my box, it, it fills the um, it fills a space. So both apps will do it. It depends on what you like to work with. Um, I'm using Note Shelf almost exclusively now. 
but it does work in good notes as well. You just have to um, play with it a little more to get your sizing and your text color to match up. You may have to use your lasso tool after the fact like I just did and change your color that way. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.